Double Jump Gaming reacts. Hello everyone, this is Double Jump Reacts, week one. This is our new weekly, or bi-weekly podcast, I should say. Um, can everybody introduce yourselves? My name's Jason. My name's Ben. My name's Nathan. My name's Andrew. And typically we're going to be focusing on topics more video game based. This, since this is our first week, we're going to cover topics from video games, pop culture, movies, and things like that. Um, and so, you know, jumping right into it here, we're going to talk a little bit about Mario Kart. Um, and I don't know if you want to take lead on that. Oh, oh, sure. Uh, the go-kart racing game uh, was published by Nintendo. That was spun off from Super Mario. Um, the first edition was Super Mario Kart in 1992 on Super Nintendo. With that, there has been 13 games in the series for multiple Nintendo-released consoles. Uh, I, does anybody know how to pronounce his name? Shigeru Miyamoto. Yeah. <laughs> Oversaw <laughs> development of the game. Up to 12 players can play at max, which can vary depending on what game and what console you're playing. Um, Kind of a highlight here, uh, in 2014 in Australia, the longest video game marathon on Mario Kart series lasted 35 hours and 45 minutes. Yeah, that's, that's a long time. Um, I guess uh, some starter characters that uh, are common with uh, Mario Kart are Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, Yoshi, Bowser, Donkey Kong, and Wario. Um, does anybody have a favorite character they would like to say? Peach all the way. <sighs> Sorry, Stoyers. You human scum. <laughs> <laughs> it's got, well, depends on what game you're talking about. If you're going with the new Mario Kart 8 and the 8 Deluxe, it's probably got to be Link for my bet because, uh -huh. I mean, he's not even Mario. Like, how do you not go with the guy that doesn't even belong in the game? Yeah. Wait, Wait which one is that that he's in? In, uh... Uh, Mario Kart 8 for Wii U and uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Switch. They have, let's oh, see, they have yeah. Link, uh, they have Villager, Isabel. I think they got a couple other characters that aren't like Mario okay. based, but. They're all they're still in the Nintendo family. Yeah, of course. So are those basically like the same game except for ones for the Wii U? Uh, and once for the Switch. Because I played the Switch version, oh, I never played the Wii U version. Basically, the Switch version is the Wii U version, but better. Okay. Like, they added, uh, they fixed the battle mode, so that way, instead of just running along a straight, like, the normal tracks, you now have, like, the old battle arenas back, which is, uh, was a, kind of a bit of a downside for many players of the Wii U version, because imagine just, like, playing the normal, uh, courses, but now it's a battle. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say for my favorite character, I don't know. This kind of varies. My favorite's probably Toad. But I always mm -hmm. like. I always found like my dilemma was always like, what? I didn't know which cart to pick. Mm -hmm. I was always like, they they have like the ATV looking ones. Wow. They have like the race car looking ones. It's like, do they are they all aesthetic or do they actually like give you an advantage? Yeah, they do have stats. They do oh, yeah. really. So they actually yeah, they evolve have. like the carts. Mm -hmm. Besides the pair. Besides I the pair. don't remember what games like which. Mario Kart it officially started in but like if you press the uh the plus button in the Wii U and the Switch version you can like it'll like bring up a chart that shows you all the stats for each individual piece like the tires the the body the mm -hmm. parachute or glider or whatever but like in at the end of the day like it doesn't make a huge difference usually it's the character that you pick that makes the biggest overall difference like uh heavier characters have a lot have like the highest speed but they don't have a lot of acceleration uh Smaller characters like, uh, I think like most of the Koopalings or the baby characters, like they have really high handling and acceleration, but not very high top speed and stuff like that. I didn't. I actually didn't know that the characters mattered. I. That's weird. <laughs> I thought everything was completely aesthetic. Yeah, like I, I, didn't, I didn't know that either, to be honest. Until like I, I picked out. Uh, I used to play Lemmy a lot, and then I picked him, and I was like, huh, I wonder what Bowser's like. A, I just decided, oh, I'm going to go Bowser this time, and I noticed that, like, the stats were different despite having picked the exact same cart, and I was like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah, that, yeah. that'll definitely sway my decision <laughs> next time I play. Um, do you have a favorite character? Oh, uh, so last night I played it, um, <laughs> and I was playing a lot of Toad, um, as one does, and I was just fast. Um, and then I guess I we were racing, and I was we were on the, what's the rainbow? Uh, rainbow, oh, rainbow, rainbow, rainbow Road. Rainbow Road, yeah. Mm -hmm. And me and my friend were just neck and neck the whole time. And I felt like I was faster than her, but I'm like, we're trying to do it. And I was like, yeah. That was a lot of fun. 
yeah, I mean, it's always a lot of fun. Um, any of you guys have any, uh, like, fond memories of playing Mario Kart at all? Or Oh, for sure. Me and all of my cousins. You got any stories? or? I mean, we're all bad at it, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, fair enough, fair enough. I would, just, yeah, I would just, like, always lose to my brother, like, to this day, and he picks, like, the heart. He always picks Rainbow Road. I hate that. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I, that's, I know that's, like, cliche to say for Mario Kart, but, ever, you know. Every struggles on that one. Mm. Struggles, really. <laughs> Anybody else got anything? Uh, I I shared mine because I don't own a Nintendo. I've never owned one. Oh, but, yeah. you know, it'd be like I go over to a friend's house and something. Oh, hey, oh, oh, oh sure. Yeah. 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 Mm. The earliest memories I have are uh, playing Double Dash at a friend's house. And, like, we I don't know why, but we'd always fight between getting Baby Mario and Baby Luigi because, like, they had the best, uh, I guess, ultimate item that you could get. If, no. How many of you played uh, Double Dash? I never did. Nope. No. Can you explain no, it? No. Okay, so you you know the uh, so basically in Double Dash, uh, every player has two characters on one cart. Uh-huh. You have one person driving, then you have another character like on the back, like holding items or like uh-huh. like helping like turn the cart with drifting. But uh, basically, if you have the depending on which two characters you have, you can get like uh, special items. Mm-hmm. Like if you have both of the Mario Brothers, you can get like a fireball, which like uh, and you can like shoot it out and set other people on fire. If you get Peach and Daisy, you get like this uh, like sort of heart uh, shield. Which uh, if enemy or if items get if you get hit by an item while you have that, then you then take the item and use it for yourself. And with Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, uh, similar to the Bullet Bill from the newer games, uh, you get a giant chain chop that pulls you <laughs> along and just drags you like throughout the course and like. It like knocks into other players and knocks them out of the way, and it's just, it's just so many times. That, but it was also like not perfect, like the bullet bill. Like there were plenty of times where, because you're just holding onto it by a chain, where after it would like you'd let go, you'd just get thrown off like the side of the road, and you'd just be like, well, there goes <laughs> there goes all the progress I made. Aww. But yeah, there's a lot of fun times with that. Um, I guess before we move on to more like culture stuff. Do you guys want to talk about uh, Apex Legends at all? I don't know if you guys have played. And plus there was the news recently of uh, like possible or uh, like data miners like finding possible leaks for new characters and weapons. Oh, okay. Maybe you guys heard about I, that? I or? think I did hear it slightly. I, what, didn't they release a new? They did release a new a weapon. weapon. Uh, I think they announced a new a new weapon. I don't think it was okay. released yet. It was. It's like some sort of plasma assault rifle okay. or energy assault rifle I think. And then there was like uh speculation of uh, some sort of like uh, fast character like based around speed mm-hmm. but I don't remember the name it was like it wasn't turbo but it was like something along the, it was like some racing sure. term where people were like oh maybe it'll have like some sort of like speed up ability, ability yeah. or something like that but so have you been have you played a good amount now or uh, I've played a little bit more um, I still suck but <laughs> same yeah <laughs> have you played that yeah, uh, I got downloaded. That's that's about as far as I got. Yeah. Did you did you win any games or? No. I won no. I won one with a group of ran, uh, random people. It's pretty. It's nice. actually really fun. Like I'm having a lot of fun playing it because I don't know. It's a nice refresher from because it's like I don't know if you guys played Titanfall. I never played. Titanfall, I played played Titanfall. Yeah. Okay. Played well, Titanfall. the same people that made yeah. it. Mm-hmm. You probably know that. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of like a mix of like Call of Duty and like Borderlands almost, but then also yeah. like yeah. Fortnite because it's battle royale. From what it seems like now, it's going to keep getting, like, gaining popularity because it just seems like a more new, it, it's just a new Fortnite. Like, sure. first mm-hmm. we had, like, like before we even had PUBG, like, the uh, goddamn Minecraft, uh, like, Hunger Games thing was, yep. like, huge oh, on the yeah. internet. And then PUBG came out, and it's like, hey, this is new. And it's like, no, but it looks different. And then Fortnite came out, and it's like, hey, we're even newer. And now right. we have mm-hmm. this. And it's, like... It's very trendy. Yeah, of course, like... I don't think I don't know exactly how long it's going to stick around. I think I think as long as they continue to add to it and continue to keep it fresh like Fortnite did, I think it has a a very like long lifespan ahead of it, but Yeah, they had like 10 million active players in the first 72 hours. Oh yeah, oh, like yeah. it was like, it exploded when it first came out cuz the server can keep up. Yeah. 
Well, I think it actually did have issues the first. Yeah. Oh yeah, but like the second day, but it hasn't really had any issues lately. So I, I always hate when I hear about people like complaining about that kind of stuff, where it's like a game's in beta or alpha and they have an open test, and it's like, oh man, all the servers are crashing. It's like mm-hmm. this game's gonna suck. It's like that's no. what this is for. Right. Mm-hmm. The whole point of this test is to test, test it. it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. I think people get kind of forget. Especially, and this might be part of Epic Games' fault with Fortnite, because mm-hmm. I feel like it's been in beta for like the last five years. But yeah. people like kind of forget that it's beta, and they just take it for at face value. And yeah, they it's think like, it's the, the real. It's deal. a full game. I'm playing the game. It's yeah. like no, it's a test. It's gonna be full once they right. figure out how to fix everything. But that's yeah. a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, glad we could talk about that. Should yeah. we? With that, should we get into Incredibles two? Or? Sure, let's do it. All right. <laughs> Transition. Uh, okay, so Incredibles 2, it is the sequel to 2004's Incredible, what? Or just Incredibles? Uh, I Incredibles. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, made by Pixar Studios uh, in 2018. Goes through the day and the life challenges, hardships, tragedies throughout a superhero family with a husband and wife along with two kids in their teens and one baby. Same like horror like family as the first movie. Uh, with Spy Throw 3 themes and a variety of superpower sets, um, compelling, realistic life problems. The main focus of this film is the villain uh, screensaver. Spoiler alert. I yeah. Uh, I <laughs> guess if you haven't seen the movie, I'll, we'll give you a little clue. Um, <laughs> yeah. He, control, he controls anyone who was looking at a screen that was under his control. How relevant was this villain, and why was it appropriate to, uh, to the show or to the movie? It was a she, wasn't it? It ended up being the sister, right? Spoiler. <laughs> well, I mean, well, yeah, you, at this point, movie. like, yeah, at this point. Sister of who? Of the uh, guy who owned that company and tried to make the superheroes, like, almost like celebrities. I don't know what he was, his okay. partner was. Right. Yeah, the least although, expected. I right. know very little, like, I know clips and stuff, and I know the, the cup juggling lady. Oh, okay, yeah. And I know how there's a lot of memes with the cup just... <laughs> Bashing oh, other people, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By far, the best part of that movie was Jack Jack the baby. Oh um, yeah, because uh, you got to just actually see him do more, kind of define what he oh. is. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like, not really, because he just has all these like little random powers right. that, yeah. like, because he's a jack of all trades. Oh, oh no, that's brilliant! Wow. <laughs> Incredibles three. There you go. We'll just Jack out. Jack. Yeah, yeah, the solo film. The solo. I mean, it's gonna, it's going to happen, right? I I, I heard been, it was. I'm pretty uh, sure. Then they leave it kind of. They left it open ended. Yeah. Like, like so they could. Could write away. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, but we should answer those questions. Um, <laughs> Just give them another um, 14 years. Yeah, so I guess what does it say about our culture today is like, this is our villain that we're, like, we're like afraid of, that we created. I mean, yeah. I'm, like, That's technology pretty, today yeah, is yeah. pretty addicting. Like, <laughs> I didn't really think about that. You know, as oh, far I, as I like, did. I'm like, their reference to. Right, because this is 10 years. Like, 10 years ago, we wouldn't have made that. No. I guess, yeah, that's a good point. I, I, they probably or actually told, it's fourteen. They that's definitely right. connected yeah. that. And that's fine. <laughs> we're not graduated yet, <laughs> but that's definitely what they were like, trying to tie in there. Yeah, I mean that's totally true. I mean we're we literally are living vicariously through right. other people's mm-hmm. lives. I mean not everybody, mm-hmm. but we're, everybody's guilty of it to some degree. Sure. Kind of ironic that it was like a movie yeah. about that. Though. Oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like right? it's coming from a, a screen. Yeah. Like, but it's it's told through like uh, a different perspective. Right. Lens. No one would no one would look at it if it was a book. I yeah. don't think I've heard too many movie or yeah movie video games be good. Um, Lego Star Wars. Yeah, the Lego games. Yeah, are, the Lego, Lego games, are, games are, pretty, are pretty. Yeah, uh, they're pretty consistent and they're always fun. Yeah, and they've been doing that forever. Lego right. was really the first one to really put that. Yeah. Oh, that was a huge breakout in the market. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lego Star Wars was a huge mm-hmm. deal. Yeah. For but me. I mean, with Star Wars, there's. They kind of have, like, here's the formula. Sure. Let's figure this out. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then Disney kind of, well, some people say Disney did. Uh, right. I yeah. guess it depends what. Anything outside of, like, Star Wars, though? It's been, like, a good, like, movie video game? Mm, let's think. Put a lot of turds. I mean, I know they do. <laughs> I never played it, but Batman. Um, oh, yeah, the Batman. Oh, yeah, for sure. Batman franchise. Like, Spider Man's breaking yeah. out. And the Spider Man actually Spider-Man played a few yeah. times. Yeah. And it's pretty mm-hmm. fun, actually. And the, I love Tom Holland in the new Spider Man, so right. yeah. I think he's a great actor. Uh-huh. Wasn't there an Iron Man video game? No, no, no. There was never an Iron Man video game. Oh, there probably was. Yeah, I think so, was. but again, it was like you have to think about it. It probably wasn't a good game. There was like a big Justice League like, video game a while ago. Yep, yeah, and Justice is huge. Yeah, uh, Justice League and Justice. I have to remember, oh, these are not just comic books anymore. They're movies. Oh, that may have to. 
but all times time. So <laughs> it's crazy, right? Yeah, I think oh. that covers that. Okay. Um, and then last but not least, um, in pop culture, uh, about oh, what was it? Uh, a couple weeks now. Yeah. What was uh, it? Like last three week? Weeks? No, feels first like, week in February. Feels like years so ago. Three weeks. Right. Time. Uh, <laughs> it was SpongeBob came to the Super Bowl yeah. on the screen. Um, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, so this was during Maroon 5's performance. Um, mm -hmm. The song that was like the big hub of was uh, Sweet Victory by Dave Elsie and Bob Kulik. Um, they, they streamed the audio and video of jumping, uh, streaming an audio of the recording uh, jumped 566% on the day of the Super Bowl game That's compared crazy. to the past regular two pre-show days, according to... Nielsen Music. That's crazy. Um, also, uh, the song stream jumped to 310 percent, 310 thousand like streams, like views on February third and fourth combined, versus just 406 thousand on February first. 46 thousand. 46 thousand. <laughs> oh, um, this is referencing the Band Geeks episode. The episode finds Squidward being tricked into forming a marching band to play the bubble ball. Um, but instead, we got to see it introduce Travis Scott. Um, yeah. Um, some other things. Uh, so how to get started. Um, Change.org petition that called for the Super Bowl to honor SpongeBob's creator, Steven Hildenberg, who died in November. Um, Change.org uh, or originated... Um, Israel Kaluga, oh, I'll probably butcher that, uh, got over 700,000 people to sign for a pledge to play the song with the reference to Spongebob. However, uh, Time reported the number was 1.1 million signatures So in January. So it, it kind of differs who your source is a little bit. Um, Sweet Victory by David Gray peaked uh, to number 23 at Billboard on um, the Hot Rock songs, which is cool. It, I, I couldn't find how long the actual, how much they presented it was. It was like three seconds. Yeah, it had to be under like ten. It was just the ten. It was literally yeah. just the trumpets. Yeah. And then like a, and then you, a got really... to see, you got to see SpongeBob. <clears throat> I think it panned out to the trumpets. Oh, yeah. And then the meteor came, and then we all got disappointed. Didn't, wasn't part of it like really redrawn, kind of? Like it wasn't like... No, I think they used the same... Oh, I don't know what the meteor... It was. No, no, no. Like I feel like... Uh, Maybe it was, like, edited differently, but I swear when I saw the... Because, like, there was also... I saw on Twitter later that apparently, mm -hmm. like, someone at the Super Bowl, like, literally just, like, set up the Sweet Victory song, yeah. like, on all of the big screens, uh -huh. and then just kind of, like, recorded it, like, as... And then, like, attributed oh, it to that, that, but... Right. But, yeah, from what I... I saw that, and then I saw the the video of what hap what actually happened at the Super Bowl, and it looked like... Like, it wasn't the exact, like, all all of it wasn't the exact same footage from the original video. Like, some of it was, like, it was very chopped up. There was, there was Spongebob put out a few games in his time. Um, he put out uh, 2001's Legend of the Lost Special. And then Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Cute Bikini Bob. I remember playing that. I remember that. Game. Yeah, and then I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess the new cool hip one is uh, Spongebob Moves In, the freemium mobile game. Wait, <laughs> so what is free? Isn't freemium supposed to be premium free? free yes. Free, but why it's is it like premium? free to play. Free to it's play, and then you pay for cool stuff. Like, oh, you can just download right. the app. Sure, yeah. Man. Free to play with microtransactions. <laughs> yeah, right. Isn't that kind of like gambling? Like, I feel like it should have to be 21 almost. It depends, like, because for... For stuff like uh, Overwatch, where they have loot boxes, you're, you're basically just gambling to right. get the stuff that you want or until you have enough in-game credits to get it. But with like a lot of mobile games, what they do is uh, like a lot of things are set on like a timer. Like, Say you want to do some action within the game. like You can do it five times, and then you have to wait 24 hours in order to be able to do it another five times. Or you can pay five bucks right now and be able to do it another five times immediately. Mm -hmm. It's like it basically... It usually just like recharges whatever you need to have recharged, or you can just buy like in-game like cosmetics or whatever else is available. But mm -hmm. all right, sure. feel free to dispute me on this, but okay. kind of, I'll never understand like investing money into mobile games like Candy Crush, and like yeah. you're not winning anything, <laughs> and maybe you get more turns, but like. What is that? I don't know. I just can't see myself spending real money on uh, the Candy Crush. Oh, yeah, like yeah. something like that. You know what I mean? And I know a lot of people who actually invest like 
a lot of money into those games. I just right. can't wrap my head around that. On their phone? People, like, pay for their phone? Wow. Yeah, oh, just, I'm like, sure earn the, like, random apps. That's why Candy Crush is, like, still so popular. It's how they make them. Oh, okay. kind of, speaking of, mobile, like, mobile apps, I worked at an arcade for six years, mm-hmm. and, like, they've started taking some of the older games and turning them into, like, physical, like, arcade games. Like, they have, like, a Flappy Bird oh, game. that's great. Oh, yeah. And, like, like okay. all these games that, like, kind of came out of, like, popularity sure. and, like, mm-hmm. um, like... I don't remember what it's called, like Road Cross or whatever it is. Cross Heroes. Cross Heroes, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Actually, I've seen that before. Mm-hmm. That's kind of a timeless thing because that's like something that's been around forever, like as, as far as video games go, and that is the one that really hasn't completely died out. I don't yeah. know. It's getting so advanced, too. Like, no more like paper tickets or like mm-hmm. tokens. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. all like a card and a card. Really? Like, you I spend off that. the card, wow. the card keeps yeah. your tickets. Like, you tickets. don't actually see anything. Like, like, oh. I don't know. Like, I get that there's like. Like, tickets are, like, I get that they're a waste of paper, and, like, yeah. you can lose them very easily, but just, like, uh-huh. being able to hold what you've won oh, right. in your hands, like, it's like uh-huh. it's like having, like, a stack of 20s. You're like, yeah, <laughs> I've won this. I'm rich in arcade tickets. It's yeah. like, it's a rush. It's like, man, this is yeah. great. And then, or you just, like, put it all in a card. It's like, yay. That's it for our first, uh, <laughs> first podcast, Double Jump Reacts. And we will see you next time. Double Jump Gaming Reacts.